Steak is good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It is. My man is not lying. Do we smoke them? Do we reverse sear? Everyone's reverse searing. Hello guys, I'm Simon Toast Ken. This is Buff Pro, and we're gonna learn how to make the perfect minute steak. Maddie Matheson's home style cookery. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be delicious. Mm, can't wait. Minute steak. Minute steak. Look at this thick man right here. Dang. That's what I'm talking about. Now you know this guy knows how to make a good minute steak. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean you know what they say with a, a man with a neck tat. <laughs> he can't cook. <laughs> I was talking about, you know, how he, how he obviously enjoys food. He's a very, oh. he, he's a, got that dad bod going on. I thought that was me at first. I kind of like, what did I do there? <laughs> All right, so this is Maddie Matheson. He's a Canadian chef. He, I actually heard about him a long time ago. Uh, back in, It's like kind of a big redemption story. Back in the day, he used to be a big party guy, you know, drinking and drugs and everything. But he's, with the intervention with some friends, he's replaced it with, Enjoying food and life. Okay. And uh, I think he's going to be, he's like secretly building like this food empire, I believe. It's going to be a really big thing. But today he's going to teach us how to make right. a minute steak. Check him out. How long does a steak take to cook? Four minutes? Five minutes? What is a great steak to cook in a cast iron pan? Do you need a big fatty Wagyu ribeye? Do you need a New York strip? All good questions. Oh, perfect. I would have said yes to every one of those. <laughs> every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was an inspirational video to me. <laughs> do you need a, a ribeye? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do I like a ribeye? Do I like, you know, a baseball steak? That has a baseball steak. I don't know, but I want one. I think it's someone, someone's like hit it, hit it, hit it, like a bat, just bat it over to you. And you're, oh. <laughs> He's asked yeah. and it's perfectly round. <laughs> it's, round. it's a round cut. <laughs> do we smoke them? Do we reverse sear? Everyone's reverse searing. You know, there's so many different ways to cook a fucking steak. The minute steak is the new. You can get his book. Dang. Got a book. It's coming this year. Okay. We're gonna learn all about it. The minute steak. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. Yeah. I'm just kind of hoping they don't claim this video, so I'm kissing a laugh. <laughs> I hope they put it out on Audible, because I can't read. <laughs> Very well. Why is that so funny? <laughs> 647th hour reverse sear sous vide. Or can we just understand that you don't have to have $500 immersion circulator to make a steak. <laughs> Unless you drive a BMW. I, I just like the soulful music's playing here. Like, let's just make it easy, man. You need a reverse hyperdynamic supercharged reverse sear. Everyone's the reverse searing. <laughs> I, I just got a skillet, man. I just, yeah. go, I just go throw mine on the grill, honestly. Yeah. We use HP sauce. House of Parliament destroys A1 steak. The Commonwealth. Mmm. Is that a Fallout reference? I don't know if I trust him anymore. Something destroys A1, get out of here. <laughs> Do you like A1 I song? love A1. Me too. <laughs> now, Hans 57 is a different story. I don't know about that. that yeah, uh, that's, Hans, mm, Hans is weird. That is a little weird. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I can taste all the 57 flavors in it. Mm. A steak is good with ketchup. Mm. Caviar spiked Bernays. Oh, poor. Let's not get this shit twisted. But apparently not that good, it says. <laughs> oh, well, that's because he used the ketchup. I don't even say with ketchup. I hear that they say if you perfectly season and cook a steak, you don't even need sauce. I was told that too. I was told that too. But very rarely have I enjoyed that type of steak. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully we're going to learn today. We've only watched a minute of this video, but man, it's... <laughs> Keep cracking up, I can't help myself. <laughs> Even A5 Wagyu dipped in a sukiyaki sauce all day. <laughs> Get it. I said dipping. Heck yeah. To dip it, the minute steak in store-bought HP dip, dippy dippers. We're dipping steak. We're dipping, we're dipping the steak. Let's go. Heck yeah, I'm hyped so hard. Oh my God, is this, what is that? I don't. <laughs> Where'd the steak go? I don't know. We're doing this. Come that, on, man. That looks scary. I'm not too sure I want to eat that. Oh, God. It's like a banana casserole or something. <laughs> Burnt squash <laughs> pie. Are you a cake or pie guy? Mm. Depends, right? Yeah, probably pie. What kind of pie? Mm. The best one? Mm. Pecan. Pe pecan pie, man. Mm. I didn't like apple pie for a really long time. I didn't feel very American because of that. Mm. Mary made one, and I was like, oh, it's so good! What am I missing out on my whole life? Man. 
Personally, I like cake though. I'm like, Are you a cake guy? I'm like, I guess I like some chocolate cake with like a nice like a cream go. You know mm, what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of balances yeah. it out, you know. Yeah. Like a lighter, <laughs> like a lighter frost. Actually, Mary <laughs> I used to. I always, there's this cut, a cake called Kenneth cake that we always make for our birthday. Mary says it's because I eat so fast that I can't actually taste what I'm eating. <laughs> and this cake is so rich and powerful that I can taste it. And I'm like, mm, this is good. <laughs> like she takes one bite and she's like, oh, I can't swallow. <laughs> but it's like devil's food cake. You can like poke holes in it and put like sweet condensed milk and like caramel, and like put some Ooh. caramel on it and, uh, and then put some whipped topping with that. Mm. Pretty simple, but man. It's like it's like eight hundred calories a crumb. A bite. <laughs> <laughs> so good. These pictures just gave me whiplash. He like went from like like like, like the punk skater dude. He's got like his farmer's hat on, got a mustache and some of this. He seems like he'd be a pretty cool guy though. He's yeah, like he the does. kind of guy that would like open up the oven and be like, dude. <laughs> we got food, bro! <laughs> and then it would taste good. This is like a steak out of like, when, when like a boxer was punched in the face, you'd slap it on your eye. This is like the steak of that. Have you ever like slapped some steak on your face ever getting punched? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Me either, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've ever like gotten like meat and like put it on my body for any injury, really. I've got a sack of peas before though. Yeah? Yeah. Why doesn't it work with chicken? Right? Like, why do you gotta waste a steak? Like, chicken's way cheaper. Like, I guess because it's... You get punched in the eye, slap a chicken, slap some salmonella in your eyeball or something. <laughs> yeah, you shake it, like yeah, yeah, that good stuff. <laughs> Love me some chicken. Uh, <laughs> but salmonella you get from like bad chicken? What is it? I think it's just raw chicken. Raw chicken to give you salmonella? It, does it always give you salmonella? Is, like, it, is that even the right? What, is I it one hundred percent? I don't know. How the, I don't know the ratio of that. I'm not sure how that works. Do not use it on your eye. This is it. You don't need it smoking hot. We're gonna season with a fair amount of salt here, okay? A little veg oil, neutral oil. And when I'm cooking a steak like this, it's a little bit of oil. Yeah, come on, man. Look at that. The bottle's halfway <laughs> empty. <laughs> Just a little bit of oil. Put a little bit of salt on there. A little bit of oil. <laughs> All right. I like. It's like how much is a peach? You know, just dump it. Is a what? A peach. Peach. A peach. We call it a, pin a pinch. There's a pinch. A pinch. A pinch. <laughs> a pinch is funnier to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's feeling it. So if you have a little weight too, take that weight. Exercise that steak. Make yeah. It, make it lift some weights. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I just realized this guy likes the Grateful Dead a lot. I think he's got the Grateful Dead shirt. He's got like the little. Well, oh, that's their symbol, right? Yeah, there. isn't it? This guy, this guy did a lot oh, of shopping at Hot Topic back in the day. <laughs> no, what was it? Spencer's. Oh, which yeah. one had all the Grateful Dead stuff? Gadzooks. Oh, oh dang, that's oh, my jam, oh, man. man. I miss Gadzooks so much. Yeah, they had like the cool like silky dragon. Yes, you used to have yes, one. I did. <laughs> I had an orange one and a blue one. Ooh, man, that cool dragon. Oh. Mm. I think I got one. I had Vegeta on it one time. No, I had a friend that did. Yeah, I, was, I was super jealous. I wanted it. <laughs> but I'm looking back, I'm glad I never did. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you could wear that with your Jinkos, win! Yeah! <laughs> sizzle, sizzle, baby. We're going to add two large tablespoons of butter. No way to fit in a tablespoon. <laughs> Man, <Maybe. yeah>, I... <laughs> What kind of spoons? Oh, that, oh, no. that spoon that he's using yeah, right he's there. Using a serving spoon. <laughs> Two, just half the stick of butter. Throw <laughs> in there, man. <laughs> We're going to Froth Town. Welcome to Froth Town. Yeah. Froth Town. He's even got his own skillet. Dang. His own skillet. Oh my God. I told you he's building an empire. <laughs> he just dumped the steak out. Where did it go? <laughs> Come on, Maddie. <laughs> that thing's it's burning hot right now. He's holding on to it. <laughs> He's what keeping a, it back with those fingers. What a beast. <laughs> it's got the long extended handle. Extended. <laughs> I don't even know, man. <laughs> extended. Extended. <Boink. laughs> I'm going to take this just off the heat. We can let this steak rest. <laughs> got to put that steak to sleep. <laughs> it just got, it, you, you it just, just, hit, just hit it with like some sea salt. Just bam, threw it on there. Threw it in like, you know, half a gallon of, of vegetable oil. Made it lift some weights. Yeah, put it some weight through a <laughs> bunch of butter on there. Yeah. Heck yes. I mean, I believe it's going to be freaking delicious. It looked like it. What I like to do is I'm going to make like onion rings. Cut them. Oh. Quarter. 
Yeah, we'll go make some like onion rings. Heck yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I've never really thought about how onion rings are actual onion because they're usually got so much breading on them. Yeah. The only reason you even know what onion's in there is because when you bite it, you like drag out the whole onion. <laughs> yeah, every single yeah. time. And then you eat that, but then you still dip the breading in like oh, a, yeah. you gotta, in, you like gotta a ketchup or whatever. That, yeah. Like it's still <laughs> good. <laughs> like, it, like it's still got any onion and you're not just <laughs> eating straight. <laughs> is so good. And then we'll be able to take all the juices, add that to our onions. <sighs> is there anything better than just like frying onions? I really- What what things are better than frying onions? Winning the lottery? No. Married? Mm -mm. Child? Not even, no. Nope. Vitamin to a raw onion? Maybe. I mean, I've never been into one like that. I mean, I have chopped them up, thrown them in a salad, but- I don't even like onions. I like, like I hate onions. Mm, like so if I'm good. eating something and then there's onion in it, like chopped onion, I'm always like, oh, no oh, man. I don't know what it is. Like the one thing, well, that and um, <laughs> shredded coconut, I guess. Yeah. That that and onion bother me. Don't know why. I'm not picky about anything else. Just those two things. I love me some onion. Yeah. And onion to me is like married to bell peppers. So you just mix them together every time, and you can add it to any meal. It's done. Bell pepper's weird too. It's not that I can eat it, but you know, it's just, I don't know. I guess I just don't like vegetables. Is onion a vegetable? Yeah. 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 yeah sure it is. It's probably, yeah. a, it's probably yeah. a fruit. It's got seeds or something. <laughs> and the thing you maybe notice, I haven't seasoned these at all because there's enough salt in that pan that comes off that steak and this butter and that oil. We don't have to season these. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's no need for seasoning. You got lots of flavor left yeah. there. Oh, man. Get that Harry Potter sauce over there in the corner. House of Parliament. It's your HP, you know, you gotta, you gotta get, it, get your HP up. Your health. <laughs> your health points. Time for a little... <laughs> oh, yeah! Talk My man! Contemplation? A little steak contemplation? I'm really excited about this. Top sirloin is so versatile. This is the steak that they cooked. Like a hundred years ago. Oh man, I love this. It's like he's, he's like telling y'all about this steak and everything, but whoever edited this is just like, don't care. <laughs> Here's some music and some flair. <laughs> I don't want these just to be like softy softies. I want them to still have a little bit of integrity. Look at that. We're gonna drip that off. What do you think about that? I think I misunderstood what he said. We're gonna drip that off. What do you think he said? Mm-mm. <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, come on, you know, I'm saving that for after this thing. <laughs> right. Boom. Just that little steak resting juices made such a big difference to the onions. I've never heard the term resting juices. Yeah. I mean, he rested the steak too, you know, like. <laughs> I know, that, that's, that's how you know he's legit because he actually rests his steak. <laughs> like around here, yeah. it's like the steak's done, slap it on your plate and yeah. you're cutting it up before it even cools down. I like that. Goes to sleep. <laughs> Boom. Cook the steak, cook the onions. In front of your eyes, in front of my eyes, in front of my body, in front of your body. The screen is the only thing between us. Man. I feel so close to him right now. I do too. Oh. If it wasn't for the screen, man, we'd be there. Oh my God. I wish I was there. Where's I'm the invite, Maddie? I'm hungry. Where's the invite? <laughs> Look, Dane's, Dane's, Dane's lost some weight, all right? <laughs> Don't send it. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't ready for that I'm on the way! <laughs> and now we got the steaky poo. We got the minute steak. I'm gonna cut it in half. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. That is beautiful. This is what I'm talking about. That's what he's talking about. Man. That's, that's what he's talking about. I get it. Oh, oh my. That didn't even sound good. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You don't have to make the $500 steak. It's not chewy. No. Have you ever had a $500 steak? No. I've never had $500. <laughs> uh, it's been tough, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. So whenever I, whenever we lived in LA, me and Mary lived in LA, um, the, the, the company we were signed with through YouTube 
we'd go out to for business meals, you know. Okay. You know, they had the they had the company cards, so we'd go and eat somewhere real nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Some, some freaking I'm talking about the bill's like over a thousand dollars and they bring out like this plate and it's got like two things on it that are like tiny and you're like wow. I was like I was like offended <laughs> that they were spending that money on it. Yeah. You know? But uh, it wasn't that good. Like, like I mean like they were like this place has the best Barbecue ribs in town, man. Try them out. And they were expensive, and I was like, "I'll try them out." And I bit them. Yeah. I like had it. I was like, "Hmm." <laughs> Could have went anywhere down the street. <laughs> Definitely not falling off the bone. <laughs> <laughs> and so I agree with him. You don't need a five hundred dollars steak. Nobody needs a five hundred dollars steak. <laughs> no, <laughs> ever in your life. Mm-mm. Just go buy a cow. You know, let it roam free or whatever, or eat it. <laughs> what is your cow? Do what you want. Rest him. Put him to sleep. <laughs> Love you so much. Maddie Matheson, Home South Cookery, coming September 29th. Available in Prop Towns. September 29th. Get it. Pre sales are on. Go to the link. Hit it. Nice message. He even said he loved yeah. me at the end. You know? Yeah. I felt that. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start ending all of our videos with that. I love you. Yep. Do that. Not them. Right? Oh, me? No. Let's read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any clips of Maddie using his indoor voice, Maddie? <laughs> yeah, minute steak. <laughs> Sound guy. Put the mic across the street. <laughs> Sorry, babe, I'm leaving for Froth Town and never coming back. I was going to say, I might have to move to Froth Town. <laughs> With two heaping teaspoons of butter. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy right here. Like Whoever's editing and doing the graphics and the audio, you're perfect. That was actually, I don't know, I like that. I like the way that was put together. No no contest, Scott. You, you, you're the best. <laughs> those who dislike this video are those who can't have steak during this time. Yeah. <laughs> Haters. Haters. A steak is good in ketchup. The level of controversy in this statement is unreal. My man, I agree. Well, hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Maddie. He's actually got some pretty good stuff. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday, and I love you. As long as you watch our videos. How much? Like, do you love? How much like That's, love? That depends on how many videos they watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Steak is good. No. Yeah. This is it. Dippy dippers.